Netflix has announced now, as part of the IMF program, that there's going to be a net, uh, not, uh, not, not a net freeze, because that, that's a, that makes a huge difference, but this is a complete freeze, except in critical cases. Have you since yeah. gotten any additional detail on what this means and, and for, for, for your workforce? Uh, Evans, thank you very much. I think that before I even answer that question, I want to register that the Trade Union Congress of Ghana, that's Ghana TUC, has never supported Ghana going into the IMF. We have always almost opposed to Ghana going to IMF because we have always suffered for its implications. Workers have never benefited from any IMF program Ghana has ever uh, assented to. So this very one, before this program began and before the government assigned to this 2023 IMF program, I think uh, there were some kind of consultation. The IMF team actually visited our office when they asked of our opinion about this IMF program, which we told them categorically that they know our position on IMF, that we never support any IMF program because the dark consequences are some workers. But we also reiterate our point that the, only, the things we fear about this IMF program is their conditionalities. And we know that the moment Ghana goes into this IMF, IMF program, there's going to be this issue about employment, issue about reduced salary, issue about negative things on workers. So we make it categorically clear to the team that these are the issues we, we are opposing to. That is why we don't want IMF program. But once the government has taken a position, nobody can stop him. So government has gone into this IMF program, and lo and behold, the freezing of employment in the public and the uh, in civil service sectors have come to being. This is a complete total freeze on employment, unlike the previous one where it was a net freeze. But who determines what is critical? Who determines what is critical in this very, very, very country? So it's a complete total freeze. And we are expecting that details of the, the meaning of that total freeze must come. Yesterday, the TUC had its uh, uh, discussions on the, we actually digested the budget at a meeting, and there was no detail about the, the freeze, whether it's a net freeze or half freeze or whatever. So all what has appeared in the budget statement is that there is a total freeze on employment in 2023, which the TUC opposes vehemently, because you know that's going to have a very negative effect in this bad country. Ghana is over 30 million plus, and only 700 people, like the doctors, nurses, teachers, and the people you mentioned in your intro, are the people who are providing services to service these 30 million plus in this very country. So if a government says it's freezing employment in 2023, we can guess what is going to happen in 2023. Assuming even one or two percent of this total 600, 700 workforce resigns or retires or by some, some reasons, I mean, leave the job. What is going to happen to the public sector, public service? It means our services is going to be affected. So the total freeze on employment, Master Evans, is totally unacceptable, and we are highly disappointed about this program. Okay.